Gentlemen, how you doing? This is our third take on this uh, commissioner's report for week three of the 2017 World Fantasy Football League season. I'm your commissioner here with my... Did we ever figure out a title for you? Uh, uh, assistant commissioner? Oh, I don't know if we'll go that far. Okay. But anyway, <laughs> my smoking hot wife who's still in the injured reserve for probably six to eight more weeks. No, not that long. Three to four. Yeah. Years. No. Anyways, this commissioner's report, we have a new sponsor. Brought to you by Spam. Whoop. Why Spam? Why not? Why not? Okay. We really don't have sponsors. I'm just throwing shit out there. So, but let's get right <laughs> down to it. Spam is not shit. No. Okay. Spam is good. We like Spam. Okay. Anyhow, let's get right to it. Uh, the Pirates of the Caribbean team. Awesome. Yeah. Absolutely unbelievably fucking kicking ass. Right. Woo! Woo! Undefeated. <laughs> In fact, my notes say, set perfect roster and route to another sweep. Of Bucky Sun and practice squad. Uh, win keeps the Pirates, my team, atop the McCartney uh, division by a game over Gross 4B. We'll get to them next. Uh, only undefeated team in the World Fantasy Football League. So, uh, all you doubters, mainly Matt, <laughs> suck it! <laughs> Commissioners are cursed. That will happen. I'll start to slide. So, but anyway, Gross 4B, wow. If I could, I'd open up this can. Yeah. It'd just be a can of spam. Mike. Opened up the proverbial can of whoop ass. Had a little boobitch there. Uh, in route to a 98 point weekend. You Whoa. know what that is? Yeah. Awesome. Lots of points. Yeah. Uh, team has never, Gross 4B, you've never scored above 100 points. I, I found that interesting when I looked in the archives. And uh, in your history, you were so close. In fact, three feet. I was looking for like a yardstick. I don't have one right here, but three feet. One yard, three feet, 36 inches. That's how close he was. Really? Would I, that have given him two points? Three points. Oh, over the Larry Fitzgerald of Arizona had uh, 149 yards, one yard shy, and you would have gone to 101 points. Gross 4B would have had their first. You know what? Next week. It can happen. Um, let's see. They take on Taco Corp and Pete Top, Kevin Bottom. Yeah, you guys can score 100 points next week. I don't really care. Um, <laughs> anyhow... Um, you know, also starting your quarterback, Deshaun uh, Watson of Houston, and his 15 points on the bench instead of Cam Newton, who you did start, and his piddly seven, that would have given you the difference. So, changing quarterback or three feet. Um, as it was, though, the 98 point total is the highest in team history. Your previous team history was? I don't know. Laura doesn't know the archives. 94 points oh. set in week four of the 2008 season. I look these things up. By? By Gross 4B. Oh, by, oh, okay. Yeah. I thought we were t talking total league. It, not yet. Okay. All right. It's coffee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Gross 4B, though, you, t you won a pair of shootouts this week uh, against Points for Penis. You beat them 98 to 80. Unbelievable. 178 points scored there. And then you beat Weapons of Mass Destruction 98 to 82. 180 points scored there. Uh, the 180 points scored overall by Gross 4B and Weapons fell short by just 8 points of the World Fantasy Football League record. And I know you're wondering, who set that record? Who set that record? I'm here to tell you, Laura. Okay. The highest combined point total by two teams playing one another was 188 points set in the day game version. Ah. Uh. Back when we played two rosters that you could change around. Oh, okay. In week two of the 2011 season, TNA party. Steve's, not pointing to TNA here. Oh, that's T Steve? TNA party. Steve, yeah, yeah, forgot, he's right here. Oops, yeah. that's Christina. I, I have trouble pointing yeah, backwards. Pointing, we're going to work on that. Yeah, we're back there. Steve, uh, over Cool Hand Luke, 188. Again, that was from week two of the day game in 2011, uh, 188 points. So uh, getting back to Gross 4B, though, the wins keep Gross 4B just a game out of first place in the McCartney division to my Pirates. Uh, practice squad, you know, things were looking good for the uh, returning champs uh, this weekend as they racked up 71 points, getting 21 from Eli Manning, your flex player, 18 from A.A. Ron Rogers of Green Bay, 27 combined from running backs Hyde and Freeman. Yep. Okay. Uh, but the team, you'd only get a split. How's that happen? Well, you played me, Pirates. Um, Arizona defense just couldn't salvage it on Monday night. You only scored one point. You needed eight for at least the tie against my Pirates. As it was, 
you split. Uh, but more importantly, you won the Battle of the Lundell House. You know what that means? Uh, no. Neither do I. But rumors have it that uh, Cool Hand Luke may have to change their team name. I'm not certain about this. Ooh. Or they may have to pay uh, college tuition for the full year. I don't know. But <laughs> practice squad beat Cool Hand Luke by 13. Split keeps the team in third place overall in the McCartney. Just two games. Uno, dos, behind the Pirates. Drink your whiskey. I'll wait. I'm not talking. Okay, because we're getting back. Now we're getting to Pete Top, Matt Bottom. Okay. Uh, you know, he visited Berlin this week. Yes. Yep. And was hoping to blitzkrieg their opponents, but that wouldn't happen. happen. That wouldn't happen. Mm. Uh, in fact, the team was swept, and they looked more like the German army outside Leningrad as they were held to a lowly, <laughs> lowly 36 points. Ooh. Do you know who scored above 36 points in the league? Uh, whoever Matt played. Well, everybody but Bloody Helmets, and we'll get back to the Bloody Helmets. Oh. Well, no, we won't even get back to the Bloody Helmets. We'll get to the Bloody Helmets okay. coming up. Yeah. But yes, Matt, P-top, Matt Bottom, you scored the lowly 36 points, second lowest in the league, uno, dos. Um, this is going to be in uh, subtitled in Spanish. Just click your SAS button on your computer, and uh, por favor, mantengas el hidro de las puertas. Anyhow, where was I? Oh, Yes. Uh, you did somehow manage to hold on to fourth place overall in the McCartney division. I don't know how that happened, but anyhow. Um, next week, though, huge, huge weekend. You know why? Is he playing you? He is playing the Pirates oh. of the Caribbean. Yep. In what will probably be a huge game in the league and bragging rights in our family. So uh, <laughs> I just jinxed it. You may have. I probably did. Yeah. Points for Penis. Scored 80 points. And how many wins did they get? Two. One. One. Just one. Uno. Sort of thing only seems to happen to Weapons of Mass Destruction, but this week it hit the P Points for PNS franchise. Uh, there was no mathematical way for the team to beat Gross 4B this week, um, as the bench would not have given them the win. Although we all know Paul with his math, and, and he probably could figure out some way to do it, but mm. I just couldn't. Math is hard. Math is hard. Uh, but thankfully, Points for PNS, they got their win because they were playing who? Matt? Uh, bloody Helmets. Oh, yeah. Uh, so they took their revenge out on Bloody Helmets, just beat them up, took their frustration out as they routed their team 80 to 26. Ooh. 80 to 26. You know what that's called? Uh, sad. Ass whooping. It's an ass whooping. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can of ass whoop right mm -hmm. there. Uh, points for Penis, you're two and four. Fifth place overall in the McCartney division. Ouch. But anyhow. Last place in the London division is bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. last year's Bucky winner, Rafi's Revenge. Uh, team entered the weekend as the only team without a win. Would they continue that? Yes. No, they got a win. They got a win. You need to do your research. One win. Yeah. Uh, the team scored 66 points thanks to a combined 57 of those points from your quarterback, Cousins mm -hmm. of Washington, uh, your running back, Howard of Chicago, and your wide receiver, uh, Beckham. Out of the Giants, uh, you beat Cool Hand Luke sixty-six to fifty-eight, but you lost to the Legacy seventy-five to sixty-six. So um, you score sixty-six points, but fifty-seven of them come from three players. Wow. Mm, okay, we'll let it go. You got your win. First, first win. Congratulations, Joe. Yay! Yeah. Uh, let's see. Split keeps the team in last place in the McCarty Division and mathematically with the worst record. Yes, even worse than the Bloody Helmets. That hurts. I just brought in the Bucky Award. Not this one. This is the extra one in case his head pops off like it did when Mike mailed it or whatever. <laughs> um, so I brought that in just today, and it will be engraved. But I'm wondering now, Joel, do I need to continue and just put your name across the bottom for 2017? Still early. It's still early. Yeah. Prove us wrong. There, okay? There's hope. There's hope. Help I have faith. Hope. Help me, Obi-Wan. You're my only hope. You're my only hope. Anyways, let's get to the London division and Bucky's son. For the second week in a row, Bucky's son scored 57 points overall. Two weeks, 57-57. Wow. 114 points in the last week. That's math. That's amazing. Yeah. Math is not hard. Mm -hmm. But anyhow, last week they split, and this week, same results. Crazy. Did we go through like some time warp? I don't know. But anyhow, the team beat Pete Top, Matt Bottom, 57-36. to 36. Again, who doesn't beat Matt this week? Ooh. Well, bloody helmets don't, but... They didn't play each other. So anyway, uh, but they lost to the 78-57 uh, to my team, the Pirates. 
in uh, one of the commissioner's games of the week. That was our divisional leaders playing one another. I think we showed which divisional leader was the best. Right, Laura? Which right. Which one would that be? Oh, you. That would be me. I yeah. always think that. I do. Calm down. <laughs> Next week, the team will face uh, weapons of mass destruction in one of the commissioner's games of the week. Uh, and with only one game lead over uh, weapons, you know, that's going to be a, a must win for uh, Bucky Sun. But uh, we'll have to see how that one plays out. It'll be good. Yeah. And that leads us right into weapons of mass destruction. Uh, in what really has become wow. part of the weapons of mass destruction history, the team will score a huge amount of points and they'll what? Lose. Lose. Thank you. Laura got that one right. Ding, 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 yep. ding. Uh, or they'll lose both games. But uh, last year, the team scored 81 points in week three, and they lost 85 to 81 to the practice squad. And then the next week, week four of last year, they scored 90 points. And but what did they do? No, they tied. Oh. They tied the legacy still. 90 to 90. But still, uh, weapons has split each week this season. Hmm. They had, they've always won and lost. So they're three and three. Hoping to turn that around as they deface, deface, yes, as they deface, as they face divisional bookends bucky sun at the top and cool hand luke at the bottom next weekend Ooh, okay yeah uh 82 points scored this week is the most points scored in a loss in the team's history uh last year's 81 point performance as we talked about in week three was the highest previously so you've gone up one point it's a loss though still you're making history and in case you were wondering i was wondering what the world fantasy football league record was for the highest point total scored by one team in a loss it goes back to 2011, the week two day game, 88 points, uh, TNA party over Cool Hand Luke, 188. That Ooh. was exactly what we talked about for the highest combined point total by two teams. I'll be dang. So, Cool Hand Luke scored 88 points back in week 11, week two, 88 points, and they lost. And now, on Little to March. the next news. The next team, <laughs> the Legacy. Legacy is a big mover of the week. They jumped from last place in the Lennon. To third place overall. Three spots. Just hmm. jumped. Did Youth. they cheat? No. Okay. Youth. Yeah. Young kids. Better like They better can move. Yeah. yeah, they can jump. Huh. Yeah. Nice. Team riding a three-game winning streak and scored 75 points this weekend in route to a sweep of Rafi's Revenge and Taco Court. Uh, team had the high score of the week as quarterback Tom Brady scored 28 points. You know what that is? A lot of points. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. 28 points. Uh... That's not that's kick ass. That kind of is, but not uh, the record for the most points by an NFL player so far this year has been my guy running back Hunt out of Kansas City with thirty. But still, twenty eight points, that's phenomenal. Yeah. That also helps you to win both games. So, um, legacy, you're just one game behind division leading Bucky Sun, and you'll take on that team in one of the Commissioner's Games of the Week next week. Yay! Yeah. So lots of movement next week in the Lennon Division. We could see some. Up and down. Uh, Taco Corp. You know, I'm a little concerned about yeah, I know. the Taco Corp team. I know you are. 33 points sitting on the bench. Um, a 3-3 three and three record overall so far in 17. Um, you know, you got to wonder, who is running the Taco Corp team? Um, it just appears to be Helter Skelter. That's all I can say. I won't even sing it. As they still... I mean, And here's why. You haven't sent back Sergeant Pepper's Cup. You haven't sent back the Green Jacket. You haven't sent in your league fees. Your team is three and three. Ooh, we got some problems here. I've got to wonder. Yeah. Has Steve been kidnapped? Do well, or do we need henchmen? Alien abduction. You know, mercenaries. Do we need to send out the U.S. Navy? Yeah. Maybe. If you are abducted by aliens and they try to probe anything, you've been warned. Anyhow, I mean, has anybody seen Steve? I I haven't. I haven't. Well, no. we haven't seen him in a while. Well, back there. Yeah. I point to Christina again. He, I played, work, your, he played your song. I got to work on my pointing. Yes, he did answer my text when I commented about Beastie Boys being played at the Vikes team. So anyway, um, well, just to say it, I'm worried. Uh, this is not what we are used to. And Steve, your team remains in fourth place overall in the Lennon with a 3-3 three and three record. Uh, granted, you're only one game out of first place. I mean, but uh, Steve, if you need help, just knock three times on the ceiling. If you want me. I sound the, the pipe. pipe. Is it the pipe? Yeah. Oh. Means you ain't gonna show. <clears throat> okay. It is. This is my era. Not oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bloody helmets. You know what they are? Pure uh, crap. I'm not, yeah. even gonna, I'm not even gonna let you in. Pure <laughs> crap. 
What can be said about this team that hasn't already been said? A league low 26 points scored this week. Granted, that's not the lowest in the league so far. We're only in week three, but still, 26 points. Oof. It's a head scratcher. That's what it is. That's your cheek. Well, I guess it's part of your head. Then you'd go into stand and. Oh, Eric! <laughs> Eric, remember that A plus rating you got after draft? Yeah, that's kind of not really working, is it? No. Wow. That's enough said about bloody elements. You're in fifth place in the Lennon. Now that brings us back to the or brings us down to the cellar in the Lennon division, and that is Cool Hand Lou. Bum, bum, bum. Yep. Lost five straight. That would include this week too. So uh, no loss though was bigger than the seventy one to fifty eight loss this weekend to the practice squad. Losing to your son. I mean, last year you watched him win the championship. This week you lose to him. Let's do that again. Wah, yeah. wah, wah, wah. Wah. Okay. Um, and then you also lost to last season's Bucky Award winner, Rafi's Revenge. Yee. Yeah. I don't know what would be worse, but yeah. anyhow, it's not a high point. Uh, you dropped into the cellar of the London division. You're one in five overall. And you face Taco Corp and Weapons next weekend. Although they're both divisional opponents, so you could pop out of the yeah out of the cellar. But um, make it happen. Yeah, I know it's starting to look sad. Granted, it's early, but still, I mean, it's early. Do you think Cool Hand Luke can do it? I don't like her. Really? Why? Uh, she creeps me out. She okay. kind of looks like me. Anyhow, Martin. Cool Hand Luke, if you guys want to start a winning streak, next week is the time to start. So, God, we're already at 16 and a half minutes. Holy cow, we're talking a lot. Anyways, here's your reminder for next week. Uh, we've got a game in London, um, Miami, and New Orleans. So, 8.30 a.m. Central Time kickoff. Set your rosters for that. In, it's in jolly old England. Um, that's it from the Commissioner's Office. You got anything else to say? Uh, no. Good luck to everybody. Let's get some movement this week. And look... Uh, but keep this guy... Persons. Undefeated, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, Laura really wants to wear the green jacket if Steve ever boots. sends that home, but I think Christina has hijacked it. And uh, My boots are ready. Oh, these boots are made for walking. That's right. Anyways, look for us tomorrow. Uh, we'll be here talking about Bucky of the Week. That's going to be exciting. Yeah, I know, I'll be I know here. my belly button's been puckering and unpuckering all day <laughs> thinking about it. So, uh, gentlemen, have a good week, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.